Hello, in this Dart programming video, I am going to show you relational operators. So relational operators essentially allow you to check, you know, relationships between you know, different values, different variables. You can do stuff like checking if a number is bigger than a number, less than a number, if one value is the same as another value. But let's just dive right in. So let's create a couple of variables. I want to do numbers, so num1, I'll do 10 int num2 equals 5 and now the first relational operator i'm going to show you is the greater than operator and it's simply the mathematical greater than symbol so if we were to do print print num1 greater than num2 let me you know write out all the operators you know all the four sort of you know, greater than less than operators and then I'll explain what they're doing but you can probably guess so this is a less than symbol then what you have is two more another greater than with greater than or equal to and that is greater than symbol and the equal sign and this is less than lesser than <laughs> less than or equal to and let's just update these symbols here that should be less than and if we run this what we'll get is true or false values so it's saying is 10 greater than 5 yes it is so we get true and you could assign this result to a variable like a boolean for example and use that in conditional if statements and while loops and for loops which we'll be covering you know in a separate part of this series the less than checks is 10 less than 5 that's false so we get a value of false greater than or equal to still true because 10 is greater than 5 it's not equal to it but it's greater than so it's okay and same with this we get a problem here but what i want to show you is what happens if i change both of these to the same number we get true for the last two but false for the first two so is 5 greater than 5 no it's the same is 5 less than 5 again no it is the same is 5 greater than or equal to 5 yes it's not greater than but it is equal to hence why it returns true and hence why this can also return true as well so the next operator is the equal to and this is just double equal this just checks if one value is the same as another value so if we do print num1 double equals num2 and here you don't have to have variables you could have you know an actual value itself like in the, you know a literal whichever is fine and if we run it we should get true because 5 is equal to 5 if i were to change this back to 10 however you see we get false for the last one because 10 is not equal to 5 the last relational operator is the not equal to i think you can guess what this does it just checks if one value is not equal to another value and if it isn't then it returns true so it's the opposite of the equal to and this is exclamation mark equal to and if i do print num1 not equal to num2 there we go if this returns true this will return false if this returns false, this will return true. So these are literally the polar opposites of each other. Just something to bear in mind, these operations are done on mathematical, you know, on you know numerical values, whereas these can be applied on strings and you know any other data type essentially. Because you can you know check if a string is equal to another string. We can't really, you know, say is one string greater than another string. That's not like an a correct mathematical operation so that's it for the relational operators if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video